It's the internet. You're busy. Let's do this. I'm Jeff Griff from GamesBeat.com. Let's install Discord on the Steam Deck. First, you go to the Discover Store. Then you'll type in Discord into the search bar. You can use the core keyboard, which is in the Discover Store as well under the Accessibility tab. Install. You'll see it. It'll download automatically. Once it's fully installed, you'll want to hop over to the start menu and open it. Click here. Again, search Discord. This time you'll find the application installed on your system. And now it's going to do some updates. It's going to do the whole rigmarole of making sure that you have the most recent version of the app. Once it is open, go ahead and log in like normal. We're doing all of this in the Linux desktop mode on SteamOS on the Steam Deck. If you're logged in on your phone, you could just scan the QR code that's gonna pop up here using the, the settings mode uh, on your Discord app on your phone. Just log in automatically. Don't even have to put in your username or password. It just does it for you automatically. Now we are gonna hop over to the gaming mode of SteamOS and I'm gonna pick up from where I was recording live, getting this set up. Steam, library, we are going non-Steam. And then we are going Discord, play. All right, okay, it's just straight up working. This is cool. There you go, hello. Hello. Ooh. Does that sound That's nice? That's not... that sound 384 not... kilobits? Let me record it, yeah. Okay, uh... all right, cool. Um. Let's see, I'm Wait going to, now, I'm going to hit Steam button. And I'm gonna to go to my library. Can you still hear me? I can still hear you. Can you still Ooh, hear okay. me? Okay. Okay, so far so good. Okay. Um, I'm feeling kinda, feeling kinda warm and fuzzy about this. <laughs> let's do a, let's, let's do a real game. Um, Let me put you, uh, you're gonna, you're gonna hear it on the. Yeah, I'm excited. All right, uh, and then, there. but again, if it's just this, it's not gonna give me a ton of. I wish I could do Windows G now and control the the sound of each app, but whatever. This is better than nothing. I could just turn down the volume. I can hear you like ruffling around the through the through the through the. Steam I, thing. I I bet I could like, I bet I could um adjust that so that it's yeah noise canceling or like put up a noise gate and stuff. All right, so yeah, now we're back in Discord. And then I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go play some Vampire Survivors. This, this is a great video game. Yes, it is. All right. Actually, so I mean, I, how do I sound like when the game's playing and everything's happening and then is, there, is it all just good? Yeah, it's good. Fine. It's like like a computer, like a regular ass computer. Yeah, it's like a regular. Com okay. Well, this is fantastic. Um. Huh. Right. This is uh, kind of what it should be, huh? This is just, this is what it should be when you get like a little gaming device. Don't touch my old man. My garlicky oh my old God. man. Yes, that's a good idea. Let's go test a more demanding game. Oh, Elden Ring, yes. Okay, are you still there? I'm still here. I can hear you perfectly. Can you hear me? I hear you. Yeah. Okay, we're we're good then. So that is Discord running on the Steam Deck. It works really well. It's um kind of magic. You know, it just runs in the background on Steam OS in the gaming mode. I will say if you have multiple non-Steam apps open at the same time, you might encounter some bugs. Uh, I have so far, especially when trying to exit out of one, but that's something that'll probably get fixed over time. So far, this is working great. Okay, until next time, have a good one. Take care of yourself and goodbye.